long-awaited moments will come and go without you blinking an eye, and it'll feel like it was nothing. But I have sadly seen way too many people fail in these moments and come up short from what they could have achieved if they knew how to capitalize on it. Take advantage of these big moments and crush your interviews. And let's go. What's up YouTube, it's Josh Reese. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here to help you become the best professional that you can be. So go ahead and hit subscribe and smash the like button if you want this video to reach more people like you. So, so many people that I know go into an interview thinking, well, if I'm right for it, I'll get it, and if I'm not, it's okay. And that is, to an extent, true. If you're a genuine person, that most of the time will show in an interview but you have to put yourself in the shoes of the interviewer. So let's go ahead right now, put yourself in the shoes of the person that's interviewing you. What are they asking? What would they want from you in the question? What would you be able to show them that would make them feel better about their decision for hiring or accepting you? Now that we've had that moment to think, let me tell you what they're thinking because I've had them tell me what they're thinking. And they're really only asking two questions ever in their interviews for professional schools, optometry school, medical school. They only wanna know two things. One is, are you doctor material? Are you one of us? Can I see you taking care of me? Can I see you taking care of my daughter, my grandpa? Are you doctor material? And the second thing they're wondering is, will you fail out of this program? Are you going to do okay? Are we going to have to worry about you failing in the first few semesters? Are we going to have to worry about you bringing a bad name to our school or bringing bad habits, bad attitudes into the class that we accept? So if I asked you for sure, they're asking, am I doctor material and am I going to fail out of school? Now you need to do everything in your power to show them that one, you're doctor material and two, that you're not gonna fail out of school. So let's go ahead and have a practice interview so that you can have these questions in your mind and think about how you will respond. Question number one. Tell me about yourself. Go ahead and pause, answer the question, and realize why it's a good question. If they have those two questions in mind, are you doctor material and are you going to fail out? How would you be able to answer those questions with this question? Question number two, why did you choose this school? Go ahead and answer. That's a great question. If you know what you're talking about, you'll be able to answer this so well. Question number three, why did you choose this profession? It's a great question. So many people are going to apply to schools that shouldn't, right? If you really wanted to do optometry or did you just not get into any medical schools? You really have a passion for healthcare or are you doing it just because your parents want you to or because you want to make money? There are people who will graduate from that institution who will go on to have horrible malpractice suits and leave stains on the institution. And they need to know, can we prevent that from happening? Can you answer this question well? Question number four, tell me about what you do for fun. Now that is a very tricky question because they're not asking that, are they? They're asking what safeguards do you have in place that you don't get stressed and don't fail, right? Do you have any stress reliefs? Uh, what do you use your free time for? Do you waste time? Are you dedicated, right? That can all be answered. What do you like to do for fun? Or any questions like that. What do you do during your free time? Are you involved in any sports? Tell me about your hobbies. All of those are great questions that really ask, are you going to fail out of this program? The next one is a really nice one, and that is, what is your motivation for going to school? Now, if you have great motivation like family members or children or uh, a big lofty goal you have, then that's a, it will be easy to answer, but it should be one that gets you to think, what is your motivation to make it through school and why won't you fail out of school? Next question is like the last one and that is, what are your career goals? Do you have anything that you're shooting for and is it, in the strength of the institution, right? You kind of, you wanna pick something that makes you know, I've done my research, I know this school would be great because I want to do this, right? If your career goals align with the school goals, you're in for sure. 
what other institutions did you apply to? Now, this is a tricky one. You don't wanna just name all of the ones that you'd applied to, but you wanna turn the question around and make it seem like they're your only school. Now, how you can do that is, I applied to every school that will help me become this type of doctor, and I know that this school will do it best. All right, you can flip the question around on them. Something that makes that institution feel special and to help them know that you're not in love with their competition, that you understand that there's something special about this institution. All right, so enough with the generic ones. There are going to be some specific questions that they can ask you, depending on whether it's an open note interview, like they've read your personal statement, or going off of something that you've shared previously in the interview. So for example, we saw in your personal statement that you speak another language. How did you learn that language? Or, how are you going to use that language as a healthcare professional? Another one like that is, you mentioned you were team captain in your sport. What did you learn from that experience? Oh, this is a good one. I see you mentioned this service opportunity. What did you learn from that service opportunity, and how will it help you become a better doctor? Or what was the number one thing that you learned in undergrad that you will carry with you to grad school? I love this one too. How have your study habits changed during college? And the last and most important one is, do you have any questions for us? Now, if you don't have any questions for them, you're doing it all wrong. You need to come prepared to every interview with at least three to four well thought out specific questions that you can ask these people that will blow their socks off, telling them you've done your research, name dropping faculty that you've heard about, name dropping equipment or names of buildings so that they know that this institution is important to you already, that you're already committed and that'll give them the impression that you want to go here. And so go ahead and pause, go through all of those questions and make sure that you can answer all of them. And if you can answer all of those questions, you're good to go and I promise you that you'll rock any interview that you get invited to. After all, the application's the hard part and once you get invited for the interview, that's the easy part. If you can be yourself and show you're a doctor, you're going to be all right. Now, thank you for watching to the end of this video. Comment down below what helped you most about this video so I can make more just like it, and we'll see you in the next one.